Thank you, Dave. Your full weather is brought to you by Diversified Ink Tattoo Studio in Penobscot Plaza in Bangor, providing custom ink by licensed artists for over 20 years. And all right, let's start with temperatures today. Very comfortable, right? Yes, there were a couple showers out there and a couple of thunder showers, but temperatures did what they are supposed to do this time of year and then some. The average high being mid 70s. Most of us did that and then some today. Also, the wind again, it got a little squirrely earlier out of the south or early today, but now it's going to switch out of the northwest. That's going to bring in some cooler, drier Canadian air and give us a couple of very nice days around here. Um, our next meaningful chance for rain, most likely not until after the weekend, although there could be a couple sprinkles around the area for tomorrow. Allergies, all right, so they're going up once again. So the tree pollen, grass pollen, okay, but weeds heading up there as well. And the mold, too, in the moderate to high category, and these will probably keep going up into the weekend as we bring back some sunshine back into the equation. Here's the satellite picture from today. And again, we had lots of rain showers early today. Some of you saw about a half inch of rainfall last and early parts of this morning. Uh, then we got a break for several hours, followed by a couple of thunder showers coming through the area now. But this is it then for tonight. But tomorrow, there could be a couple more as this very big area of low pressure kind of spins itself out of here. But still, there is some stuff back here, some instability. The air above us is much colder. You put some sunshine on that, you could get a quick bubble of thunder shower. Uh, there is a chance for a couple of sprinkles throughout the day tomorrow as this whole thing kind of pulls away, but then we're good into Friday and Saturday. Future cash shows us very well, so here we are tonight. No worries at all. Tomorrow morning about 730 or so looking at partly cloudy skies, but again, we're in the atmosphere here, which could give us a quick shower at any given time, uh, especially tomorrow afternoon. Then that's going to pull out of here tomorrow evening and overall looking at a very nice day for us into Friday. There, uh, Friday could be one of those days where there isn't a single cloud in the sky pretty much all day long as high pressure will build in and giving us a very nice weekend at that. So going forward rainfall wise again, there's a couple of showers left over tonight and then a couple of sprinkles across the region tomorrow. The heaviest rain has ended. We're done with that for now. Our next chance for rain not until after the weekend and we could use some rain. So of course tomorrow this map gets updated, but we have been of course in a level one, two and three drought condition across the state pretty much all summer long. We could use the rainfall. We got a little bit today, most likely get a little bit more in here later on after Sunday. Our forecast then tonight though is rain ending out there now, turning partly cloudy to midnight and a calm wind. That could give us some dense fog wherever it rained again today. Uh, for tomorrow, here we go. So I threw in a couple sprinkles. Most of us will stay dry. Look for high temperatures near 75 under partly cloudy skies. And then looking ahead, your five day forecast shows the story 75 tomorrow, 77 for Friday and gorgeous. Here's Saturday, 79. There's that chance for a couple of thunder showers on Sunday, not an all day rain with temperatures hanging out in the mid 70s. Beth.